has been presented to you now to, to give your life over to the Lord while you still have opportunity. While you still have opportunity, there are still some preachers that are in the land that I'm not standing to, to tell you that there is a thousand blessings with your name on it. But in John 1, 1, it says, in the beginning, it says, in the beginning, was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. Have, have you truly gave your life over to Christ? That's my point. So many have not done that. So many have not understood that they need to truly give their life over to Christ and get it together today. Amen. So I'm going to come out of the book of John. And I'm going to show you. Before I go to John, I want to go to Romans. In the book of Romans. Oh, before we go to Romans, let's go right back to John. Thank you, Father. So like I said in the beginning, it says, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and the Word became flesh. So many of us are filled up with pride and with your money and with all the things that you have. You believe you don't have time for Christ no more. But a day going to come, you're going to get old. <laughs> a day going to come there where those bones are going to start aching. God bless you over there. A day is going to come where those bones are going to start aching, and you're going to have to come. And you're going to have to come to God one more time. And you're going to need the Lord to open up a window of opportunity for you. That's why I said it again. So many of us have forgotten that we have to come back to a holy and righteous Lord. That is the same one that healed me. The same one that healed my family. The same one that got me off the streets. The same, the same God that, that saved me from all my aches and pains in my life. The same God that saved my son in a, tra in a tragic accident. That same God is the same one that is true today. That is true tomorrow and true forevermore. Amen. I'm not out to condemn, but I'm out to tell you that there is one that will condemn to heaven or hell. Amen. So that's why I want you to understand this afternoon. So many are going through it. But you got a chance. You have a chance. People say that, you, that, 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 that is too much. This is too much, but this is not enough. We have to continue to do this. If, 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 if Jehovah Witnesses and the Mormon belief and everybody else can do it the way that they want it, us as believers, we must find a way to reach the lost. I believe that we have forgotten that we need to learn how to reach the ones that are lost in this hour. And so many people that have perished and going on and have not had this opportunity. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So let me go back to where I was. Thank you, Father. That Jesus says in John chapter 15, he says that he is the true vine. He says that he is the true vine. He says, I am the true vine and my father is the husbandman, and every branch in me that bears not good fruit, he taketh the way. What kind of fruit are you producing? I'm asking you, what kind of fruit are you producing? In this hour, are you pro producing godly fruit, or are you producing fruit that is thrown to the ground, that is stepped on? Hatred, mildly, galley in your tongue. Not wanting to show love for your brother and your sister. I'm, I'm telling you, America... A time is coming for this country. The, 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 the matter if we don't want to believe that or not, we can see it going on in the world. We can see that times is changing. We can see that people are changing. We can see that the, the culture of America has changed. This was a nation that was built upon Christian principles at one time. But that has been stepped on and been worn down and pushed to the side. So what, what I'm doing, people would say, brother, you're doing too much. But Jesus has done the same thing, minus the speaker and the microphone, Jesus has done the same thing. And yet we proclaim to be Christians. Huh. You see it? You see how the things change? And if things is changing like that, then that's telling me that, Brother Ramon, there, there is more work you got to do. There's more things I have to do in this hour. There's more things that we need to do as believers. Some of us, you know, we, we, we come down here, we eat the food, we do this and we do that. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that things are changing. But he says that his word would never change. The Lord says his word will never change. Amen. Let me show you some more. Now ye are clean through the word which Jesus has spoken unto you. The Lord says that his word will clean you. 
Amen. The Lord says that his word will clean you. Have you, ever, uh, have you ever took a bath and when you take that bath or you take that shower and you use that whatever you use to wash yourself with and it takes off all that dirt? Jesus said that his word will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Amen. That's, that's a mighty thing that by his word that I can be cleansed. By his word that he can cleanse me from all unrighteousness, from my sinful nature. By the word of Jesus Christ, I can be clean. Amen. That's, that's wonderful news. That's, that's telling me something. God bless you, sister. That's, that's telling me something that whatever I'm going through in my life, I can come to the Lord and he is faithful and true to hear me. He is faithful and true to hear my prayers. He is faithful and true to hear everything that I need to ask. I think we forgot about those things. God bless you all this afternoon. Bless you. I forgot that. I think that we forgot that we can come to Christ as we are. Broken, hurting, all these things. God bless you. And the Lord is right there even in the midst of that to answer your prayers. Over 2.5 million people died over COVID since 2023, since 2020. And so many of them did not know that they were going to leave this life. But we are still in the land of the living. We have an opportunity. What are we going to do with it? What, what, what are you doing with it? Are you using it for God's glory? Are you telling somebody about Jesus Christ? Are you telling someone that, that Jesus is the only way into the kingdom of God? He says you must go through the Son to get to the Father. Amen. It seems like we have forgotten that Jesus is the only way in. Has the, has, has the church, has, has television, has Hollywood changed your, the, way of, the way that you think about Christ? Has, has these things, has, has what has happened in this world caused you to forget? God bless you. Caused you to forget that Jesus is the reason why we are alive, that his blood still works. Amen. Still works. Hallelujah. We'll go to John 3. Let's go to John 3. Hallelujah, Father. to a scripture that everyone knows but I want you to understand that you still have to be saved many people are not saved in this hour many people have forgotten that you need to be saved he says in John 3 he says verily verily I say unto you except a man be born of the water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven Jesus said that you must be born of the water and of the spirit to enter in meaning you got to get submerged into that water hallelujah meaning I got to say Lord I'm, I, I, I'm tired I'm tired of living like this. I, 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 I'm done. It got to be a better way. And it is a better way. Just like I'm standing next to these red road tracks. On that side, that could be the world. On this side, this is the kingdom. The Lord says, come cross those red road tracks, son, daughter. Come, come. And I'll make your crooked places straight. Amen. He says, I'll make your rough places smooth. That's what the Lord says, that he would do those things. And that's, God bless you, fellas. And that's how faithful he is. That he's so faithful this morning, he allowed the sun to rise. Amen. That we're in the south of Florida and, and we have a beautiful weather, but we have other other uh, cities and other uh, states in this nation that are going through some real hardship. Amen. That are going through some things. So so you count every nanosecond as a blessing. Count every nanosecond, count every second in your life as an opportunity. The Lord, I thank you for what you have done. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing. Amen. Every chance you get. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. He says, marvel not that a man, he says, marvel not that I said unto thee that you must be born again. Period. You must be born again. Like I said again, that is, there is no other way. We, we, we have to be born again in this hour. And, and, and once you know that, once you know you must be born again, then that tells me that there's some things that I got to get going. There's some things I must do. Amen. He says, Marvel not that I said unto ye, that ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it liveth, and the sound thereof, he says, cast there unto thee. 
And Nicodemus says, how can a man be born again? So you telling me that I got to go in my mother's womb twice? Yeah. Yeah, that was a silly question Nicodemus asked. And even right now, we ask those same silly questions. We ask Christ, like, I have to do this, I have to do that. Amen. By, by all means. Yes, there's things that we have to do. There's things I should do. There's things I should want to do. Hallelujah. But, but that's what makes things right for me. People would say, brother, how is that little speaker so loud? I'm going to tell you why. Because the Lord has used the little things of life to make his word become big. I'm going to say it again. The Lord will use little things in life to make his word become huge. Hallelujah. So that's why I come out this afternoon in front of Dina to, to give you an opportunity to know that the Lord is still in the business of saving folks. Still in the business of saving the lost. You can't hush the word, sir. You're on a bicycle. That's what people want. They want you to hush. They want you to be quiet. They want you to not do so much. But a day is going to come and will come and the Lord says he shall not tarry. It's heaven or hell, brothers and sisters. There's no in-between. There is no purgatory. That's why we got to get it right while we're still in the land of the living. I got to pray with my children. I got to make sure that they know that Jesus is the only way in. That there is no other way into God's kingdom. There is not just 144,000. No, there is only one way into God's kingdom, period. That's why I stand bold like the way that I do. I'm not worried about what man say, how you look. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the time is ticking. The time is ticking. Time is ticking. Time is not waiting on no man. Time is not waiting on me. Time is not waiting on you. Look at, look at the world. Look at what's going on in the world. And you tell me that things are getting better. You look at what's going on in the world. Look at the economics. Look at what's going on across the pond with Russia and Ukraine. Tell me that things are getting better. So if it's not, that's telling me that I need to get it. I need to get it together. I need to get a little bit closer. Amen. Like I said, since COVID to now, almost 2.3 million people have lost their souls. Imagine all those souls did not know that they were going to die that next day. All those souls did not know that they, that they, that if they're not born again, if they did not repent, they didn't have that opportunity, but you do. You have that chance. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with the chance that the Lord has given you today? You can lay it down. You're smoking, you're drinking, your alcohol, your perversion, your pornography. You can lay it all down. Every bit of it. We can lay it down at the feet of the altar of Christ. How am I blocking it? Oh, they, they, they've been, everybody's been fine. Nobody gave me no hard time. They're trying to get in here. You're blocking our lunch business. Nobody gave me a hard time except you. Yeah, well, I'm giving, I'm just why, saying, why? 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 Why do you got to block it's, it's public. It's, it's a public permit. property. You got a permit to be out here? I have my minister license. Yes, I yeah, do. that's not a permit. All right, you got to move that. It's, it's always one. Hey, you, do you, are you a believer? You know, the Lord says if you shame him in the front of man, he'll shame you in the day of his father. You will be shamed. I'm not going to move, but you will be shamed. It's sad, man. Sad that we live in a world that there's people just like that. They would tell you to move and I'm not bothering nobody. But I'm used to it. I've been doing this too long. So I'm going to leave. But I tell you, you got an opportunity, Fernandina. Many people don't look at the things that folks like myself do and they don't believe that it's necessary. But I promise you, it is truly necessary. If you're not believing, if you don't think that it's necessary, then that's on you. But I tell you, a day going to come. Amen. God bless you.